goddess siddhadhatri devi is worshipped on the ninth day that is the shukla navami of navratri the nine divine nights of celebration of navadurga ma siddhadhatri devi is the ninth manifestation of goddess durga and is known to fulfill all divine aspirations of the devotees now siddhi means supernatural powers or meditative ability and dhatri means giver or a warder now siddha dhatri is goddess who gives shakti or rather power to lord shiva it is because of her gratitude only that lord became ardha nareshwara or half man and half woman now the iconography of goddess siddha dhatri is depicted as she is sitting on a kamal or a lotus flower she is depicted with four hands she has a gadha or a mace in one right hand she has a chakra or a discus in the other right hand she has a lotus flower in the left hand and a shank or a cone shell in the other left hand now what are the specific powers of this uh, form or manifestation of navadurga now ma siddhadhatri grants her devotees all sorts of achievements and is capable of giving all sorts of occult powers she is the possessor of 26 different siddhis okay or wishes she can grant to her worshippers her glory and power are infinite and worshiping ma siddhadhatri on the final day that's the ninth day the nav the navami tithi of navaratri bestows all siddhis or supernatural powers to her de- devotees and it also marks the successful completion of the navaratri festival of the sharad um Uh, the the sharad uh, navratri now the eight supernatural powers or the siddhis are named as anima mahima gaima laghima prapti prakambya ishtitva and vashishtva vashitva now anima means Uh, the ability to reduce one body even to the size of an atom to you know to reduce in uh, of your this, the size of the body now mahima means to expand one's body infinitely and make it as large mass or size as possible now garima means to expand one's body to an infinitely large size garima means almost becoming infinitely heavy laghima means becoming almost weightless prapti means having unrestricted access to all the places prakambya means to realize whatever one desires ishitva means to possess absolute lordship and vasitva is the power to subjugate all now it is lord shiva who was blessed by siddhadhatri by big you know by beginning all the eight powers to uh, him by siddhadhatri they were requested and required to run the creation and in his form of lord shiva as ardhanareshwar half shiva and half shakti this is uh, this the, all these eight siddhis and supernatural powers were required now the legend goes that um as per shiva puran the legend has it that lord shiva got all those siddhis by worshiping ma shakti with her gratitude and the half body of lord shiva he he became that of ma shakti and therefore um you know he was called as ardhanareshwar this is the legend you know of ardhanareshwar now this avatar of ma durga removes ignorance and provides knowledge to her devotees now she is worshiped or uh, by all gods or devas by all gandharvas by all demons which are asuras by all yakshas 
and all siddhas, spiritual masters. Now, some of the important themes that are operating today are, one is uh, the titi is uh, Navami titi. It's a Shukla Paksha Navami titi. Now, it is believed that the planet Ketu, which is the south node of the moon, is governed by goddess Siddhadhatri. The, the color which is prominent and is governing um, on the Navami titi is the color purple. And the flower, which is very uh, auspicious on, or favorite to Mother Goddess, is Champa. It is also called as Golden Champak. Okay, it belongs to the Magnolia family, and it is uh, the the Latin name is called as Magnolia Champaka. Now, the bhog or the food that is offered is till or sesame seeds. Now, there is also another. In certain other texts or ancient scriptures, it is said that the end of Navratri um, is, is going to be very stylish. And that is why the color, the sky blue dress, okay, seek divine blessings of Devi Siddhadatri by wearing the sky blue dress. This is another text which also mentions about this color besides purple. Now, the reason behind the sky blue color is said that blue is a symbol of achievement, of prestige of wisdom and experiencing the magic of great goddess by wearing the robes of this color is going to get her divine blessings. Now this Tuti uh, for uh, goddess Siddhadatri is Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Ma Siddhadatri Rupena Samsthita Namastaste 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 Namo Namaha the mantra for goddess Siddhadatri is Om Devi Siddhadatri Namaha. Now, goddess is surrounded by, as I said, by Siddhas, Gandharvas, Yakshas, Asuras with their demons, and Devatas, which are demigods, who worshipped her, who worship her on Navami Titi. So, this is the day for everybody to worship goddess Siddhadatri and get her blessings. So, happy Navratri Jai Ma Siddhadatri.